hello and welcome everyone. So when will you be ready to take the actual OCP, right? That is exactly what I will cover in this video. Now, first of all, what would I actually recommend? You can get this as a standalone. It's expensive, but obviously we've talked about this. OCP is incredibly valuable, and it's a reason why they know that it can charge this much, and it's a reason why people are flocking to OCP because it's so valuable, right? But yeah, not to go into that in this video. Uh, this is just a standalone exam, but I don't recommend this bundle typically. What I would recommend is essentially grabbing this bundle right here. And then uh, you have the option between uh, Learn One, which is currently on sale, but I would still recommend the certification exam bundle because this one is billed annually and this one is a one-time payment. And you will essentially get an exam retake um, or one exam attempt rather, sorry, and the 90 days of access to their labs and all of their learning material. And that's pretty much all that you need. So the learning material, 90 day labs, and you get like an actual exam attempt, right? Which hopefully you crush on the first try. But if you don't, an exam retake is around $250, but I will obviously help prepare you as best as we can, right? So now is the question, when will you actually be ready? They have a syllabus right here, which uh, they are saying that all of this can come. So I definitely check, recommend that you go through it. Uh, now, I'm not going to be able to tell you what will or will not come on exam, but I may be able to advise you with regards to some shortcuts that may be saving you a lot of time uh, due to my knowledge of the OCP as someone obviously has it, right? So keep that in mind uh, because there are tactical ways to approach the OCP, in my opinion. Now, generally speaking, right, when are you ready? The more you do, this is the graph from OFSEC, the more you do, the higher percentage chance you will be able to pass, right? So getting in a lot of volume training is definitely very, very, very important. So do not underestimate that at all. Um, but as a general rule, a run easy to medium is, when you can do that from the list that I'm about to mention in a bit, I would say it's a rough estimate. It's not a perfect approach at all in my opinion, but like if you just want some rough answer, then if you're able to reliably do those, either the media machines without much help, I would say that you're ready enough, okay? But yeah, that's a super rough one. They have a essentially learning plan right here. There's a 12 week one um, that they will essentially structure like week one, you do this, week two, you do this, etc. It's pretty solid in my opinion. It will cover a lot of useful things, but there are of course things that again, is one of the things that I mentioned earlier, like there are perhaps some shortcuts that we can take that essentially speeds your process a lot because this is going to be 100% useless in terms of your actual OCP exam, right? So obviously I'm able to essentially selectively cut out all of the fluff from all of this inside of our resources and that's exactly what I've done. And the same thing applies with the 24-week plan as well. Um, so definitely just keep that in mind, but definitely no, uh, nothing negative to take a look whatsoever. So I'd have, I'd have to recommend that you do that and just make sure that you are generally prepared. Okay, I definitely want to mention this section as well because they have an exam preparation, uh, which I think there is something very valuable being mentioned here. And one of the crucial things that is very, very, very important that you don't miss is the challenge labs. Again, it's very limited resources in terms of how to prepare for the Active Directory chains because they are, of course, different to normal Active Directory machines that you will do on sites like Try Hackman, Hack the Box, etc., because they are in a domain, right? Three machines in a chain. Uh, and yeah, that is one of the things that I've made sure to essentially create in our resources as well. But this is very important. Uh, when you will get access to the, the OCP labs, the OPSEC labs, make sure that you are doing this, take notes and redo them. And you can also treat, for instance, the last one as a blind exam again. So you can do these two. And then the last one you treat as a blind exam um, in terms of like the active director section and basically just see how you do. And yeah, very useful practice. Now, one of the things that we have inside as well, the, the Wapak Academy, is the docs that you're probably familiarized with. But the entire purpose of it is that you start off clueless with regards to all of the different techniques that is being mentioned here. And then the goal is for you to essentially become either basic competence or proficient. So essentially roughly what that means is that, uh, I'll start with something very simple, right? That's why I started with this. It's just knowing how to do a full TCP and map scan uh, for, sing for version 
fingerprinting and also running the default scripts uh, and also knowing how to use the NSCs that Nmap offers as well, the NSC, okay, for vulnerability scanning. So if you don't know quite now how to do all of this, then definitely uh, do, but this is something very basic, right? So this shouldn't take long to learn and then proficient. But the goal is to essentially be proficient at all of the different techniques mentioned again. And this is just for initial access. As you can see at the bottom here, we also cover Active Directory, we cover Pivoting, we cover Windows Privilege Escalation, and we cover Linux Privilege Escalation as well, okay? But again, these are just techniques that essentially, you wanna make sure that you are familiarized with again. For instance, if you don't know how to do curb browsing on Windows, then it's something that I suggest that you learn, right? Then the same thing applies with all of these things, okay? But let's continue. So this is one of the things that you wanna get access to. Uh, we're currently over 300 members, and you can try it for one day completely for free. And if you don't like it, you can just cancel and you pay absolutely nothing, right? Because I only want to take your money if you actually find it worth it. And as we can see, we have a ton of reviews. We also have a lot on Discord, but people are just leaving five star with amazing things. People are passing the OCP and it's, it's I absolutely love to see it and I absolutely love to help people out again. So if you have not yet seen the essentially the link is an Augie and that's like focus list, then it's easy to find them by essentially just typing link is an Augie list and then that's like focus list as well, okay? So these lists are kind of roughly what I was referring to earlier in terms of like, if you can reliably do easy to medium machines inside of there, then you should be roughly ready enough to essentially get into the labs and start practicing more, okay? Um, so this is not a bad approach at all. And I definitely suggest that you utilize these lists as well. And it is one of the resources that we cover inside of the Academy, right? They're not bad at all. And I definitely recommend that you do it. So essentially what you will get inside the resources to essentially shortcut your progress is that we have an entire roadmap that keeps everything hyper-structured, okay? Because this is something that I've noticed with a lot of people. They don't have a structured methodology. They don't have a structured game plan. And they don't have a structure in terms of like, they don't quite know what will be on the exam or exactly what to prepare for. And I've seen people fail the OCP a lot of times because they're blind to different techniques, right? Which is one of the reasons that we have this and blind to just very important details, which of course will be mentioned throughout the course as just the video material at all, like alone is over 24 hours currently. And we are expanding constantly. And of course we will raise the price over time. But yeah, so inside of here, it's a checklist and, and additional resources and also action steps. Again, I can't show you in this video, but essentially we have important action steps and resources that covers all of what you can do. Like after you've observed all of the material, after you've ideally also done the, all of the rooms alongside with me as well, so you can really fine tune your methodology. And again, I will explain everything and I will essentially show you my methodology, how I think, how I approach problems, how I do research how I stay structured with notes along the journey, etc. I show you all of it from someone who obviously has the OCP and teaches the OCP. And I made many people have passed the OCP already. And I hope to just keep increasing it over time because it makes me incredibly happy. And OCP is something that overwhelms a lot of people and I want all of you to crush it, right? So yeah, we have action steps and resources and checklists to keep you hyper-structured in all of these, okay? These are essentially just uh, hyperlinks that goes, that takes you through checklists plus edition resources. We also cover useful tools uh, for each single section, right? So I can't show you the checklist, but I can essentially show you, for instance, the tools. Um, it's just like another added uh, resource that you may find useful and some word list that is also very, very useful, right? But if you're gonna use this, I highly recommend that you essentially take a look at the introduction because this will cover how to utilize the entire course and how to utilize your community, um, which I'll go into a bit. But yeah, really just follow this. That is the TLDR of how to use all of this. Inside of this checklist or hyperlinks, there'll be a there'll be a guide and just literally this checklist that you follow on, that you click, click, click once you complete the action steps and you know how to use the resources for every section, again, the exam, the reporting, initial access for pivoting, for tunneling, for previous corrected directory, and also post exploitation and also active directory chains specifically, right? Um, we also, of course, cover basic stuff like exam structure, and we really just cover everything that you need inside of here, right? Um, about the videos, some different toolings, uh, some different hatch dumping techniques, uh, and this is one of the active directory chains that we made. We currently have three and we will expand over time. 
And this is just something that is so massively lacking in this area where people are failing because they don't get enough practice. I mean, all you realistically can get practice to is the uh, three labs inside of the OCP that I mentioned earlier in this video. And three labs is really not enough to make sure that you are well prepared when it comes to Active Directory attack chains specifically, right? So I really hope that answers your question. If you complete all of the action steps inside of the roadmap, and it looks small, but it really is a lot that each of these hyperlinks cover in terms of uh, action steps and in terms of just structured and checklists that you have to complete, just like this one. This is, a no this is one example of checklist that essentially you should complete and get done with all of this, knowing how to do all of these things. And yeah, once you have essentially completed the roadmap, you know for a fact that you will be ready. And yeah, that is if you want to use the resources. We have also a Discord that I would also like to mention as well, where essentially people are just asking me questions and I'm happy to answer them always. And I've noticed that this gives people a lot of reassurance because people have questions in terms of like uh, notes, they have questions in terms of like what tools are banned on your OCP and really just reassurance about different things. Uh, so I've gotten amazing feedback of people just really appreciating all of this. And yeah, it keeps people motivated. We also have a testimonial section right there where we are absolutely getting bombarded with amazing feedback. And it's honestly truly amazing and genuinely it's touching again. So I can't wait to keep serving all of you and I want all of you to crush the OCP. And I cannot wait to see you pass the OCP. And please tag me. Please let me know if you're inside of there that you crushed the OCP. And I'll be happy to share it if you want. And if not, I'll just say amazing job. I'm really proud of you. And best of luck on your journey forward. So I really hope this helped. And have an awesome, awesome day. If you want to join, click the link down below, the WAP link. And that will really cover all of it again. We have a free trial if you want to try it. And yes, I hope that helps. Have an awesome, awesome day.